Hi, my name is Iswar Jayal Mato and in this video I am going to show you how designing software help us to visualize any product before it going to manufacture. These days I am learning Kigo 3.0 software and people are calling it as the best software for any product development. And the how simulation of product can be done using this software that I will show in this video. So let us get started. Open your Creo software, go to new, go to assembly, uncheck use default template, make it ok and drag here and go to MMNS assembly design. For time purpose saving I have already made some of component which having a sliding and so rotatory motion in between them so that I can show in this video. So I am calling such a component. So first we have base, so call it, just open, go to automatic and set is at default. Now you can see here fully constrained, that means the component is ok. Now again call the another component by clicking assemble, go to in session, now call slider, now drag this component at proper location so that we can provide uh, particular joint over there just zoom it and drag to a proper place use this arrow symbol ok and now go to user define since we have to give sliding motion between them so we have to select slider joint now move this part and select this edge now select this slider edge zoom it ok now again move this and zoom this part and select this surface now it is highlighting now again this now you can see connection definition complete that is that means it is ok click ok then again we have another component go to assemble go to in session now again call it rotor part open use control D option to default orientation again use this symbol and place the component at proper location so that we can provide sufficient joint over here since here will be rotation motion between them so we are going to provide pin joint in between them so again move this component like that and again go to user define select pin joint and zoom it select this axis select this axis now select this top surface and select this top surface now it will be ok press ctrl D for default orientation now since we have assembled this component now go to application go to mechanism now go to drag component and zoom it place it proper place ok make it ok again press ctrl D now we have to keep motion between them so go for servo motor select this part flip this and go to profile go to velocity and we have to provide some velocity over that so just write out 80 meter per second then go to ok then again go to mechanism analysis we have to provide end time since I have extruded this base part 800 mm so that divided by 80 that will calculate the time for saying this place run so you can see this is running that means we are done now again we have to provide sliding motion between this part 
so again we have to go for servo motor to again select this this axis clip this part again go to profile go to velocity and give the required velocity whatever you want okay now okay again we have to move mechanism analysis and again we have to give end time that 800 divided by 80 and press run now you can see it is running now again we have to go to drag component it will be better that we should press ctrl d and drag this at the previous location now we are done now again for running simultaneously go to playback now close it once again we have to move here go to analysis definition 2 now go to playback increase its speed repeat the cycle reverse the direction and play now you can see guys our assembly product is running right now and it is running very fine and and this is the true actual reality of this software and we haven't made the product but we can see it virtually and this is the true beauty of this Creo software and this is all about this and the, here are the some other options you can use in this software if you want to capture you just go to capture and make want to make video on that just go to this and provide whatever name you want I have given V and set the frame second I have given 50 and make ok it will take just fraction of second and our video file will be ready and through this you whatever you want you can just transfer it and you can transfer whenever you want and you can see it is already captured just I am going to show you just minimize that one and just open it now you can see this is our product so this is a how we can also make a video on that of whatever we have assembled that's all about this video guys here we have done simulation and assembly both and do like this video if you like that one and if you have any feedback or suggestion please write it in my comment box if possible then please share this video and do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you for watching this video and have a great day ahead thank you